Hello out there, folks. It's Dave from Dave Station VR, and I'm checking out a game called Kona. There's a little bit of a surprise for everybody, I think. Um, this has been out for a while on just regular PlayStation and Steam and everything. Um, and they had mentioned having VR support a long time ago, but it just popped up out of nowhere. And uh, you can buy a special bundle now that has the VR support. Or if you've already got it, you can add, I think it's $5.99 to get the VR added. And it's the full game, which I hear is about uh, five hours or more. So that's pretty good. And it'll tap into it. So you can see there's free movement, which is a good one. Everybody likes that. It is click turning, but uh, I'm playing with the moves, so it's got move or dual shock support. Hop into it. So uh, this game takes place in Quebec, and it's like a kind of a mystery. You go to this town looking for a guy, and uh, it's pretty much deserted, except for this one guy who runs you off the road in his car. And uh, it's really snowy and windy, and you're just kind of wandering around trying to figure out what's going on. But also, you got to survive. So it's like a point-and-click adventure, but there's also some survival elements to it. So you can see I've got a little uh, heat meter at the top there. Hey, Jimith, how's it going? And I previously had played this for maybe 20 minutes or so already. Made myself a little fire, as you can see there. I think I already looted this whole place. Am I under stress? Maybe I am. Okay, what do I have in my inventory? Do -do 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 -do. Consumable. Okay, I already took my health pack, it looks like, so I think I'm ready to go back in my car. I crashed my car because somebody drove me off the road. But, uh, got healed up, found some fire, and I think we should be good to go. Now, it took me a minute to figure out how to run in this game. If you're playing with moves, what you want to do is, uh, you hold the, uh, shit, what is it on this? You hold the triangle button on your left move, and then you pull the trigger, too. So that's how you run forward. So I already looted that car, got everything out of there. This is my crashed Chevy. Chev, Chev Lore. Nice uh, job avoiding copyright, trademark issues, whatever. The car is stuck. Oh, well, good thing I have chains. Don't I have chains around here somewhere? All right, where are we putting these chains? Oh, back here. Alright, chained up those tires. Alright, sometimes the prompts don't pop up when they're supposed to. But, uh, that may just be one of the oddities of porting a 2D game into VR. For the most part, it seems to work pretty well. Some people have noticed some bugs. Oh, I get to drive. You actually get to drive in this one. But it's not like you would think. I'm not turning my hands, I'm just using buttons to turn left and right. But it's still pretty cool. It's like, uh... Honestly, it kind of reminds me, I mean, it's not the same, but Dirt Rally is what it feels like when I'm driving in this. You got bumpy roads, weather hazards, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's no game to it, it's just like getting between places, but it's kind of cool. I like this element of it. But yeah, I think it's a, mostly like a story-driven adventure game. Spread out on kind a few of acres of untouched forest, bellowing yeah, Silent terrible, Hill vibes. everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist. Now, wait, 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 wait. It was said to have been populated for millennia Can by I go Cree that way? and ever since the industrial era by the metal mining industry. What's over here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Got to learn how to drive this thing. I'm taking a taking a side road here. I want to see what this shit is about. Oh, okay. Was I not supposed to do that? Oh shit, son of a bitch. Okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. Oh shit, slow down! Wow, this guy drives like a maniac. Alright, get me out of here. How do I get out? Uh, is there not an out button? Do I have to drive to a certain location they want me to drive to? This is not going to end well. Taken, I'm not supposed to go to this house, or maybe I pull up around the side. 
Uh, there are some free PSVR games. I mean, most of them aren't really game games. They're like experiences. But Rec Room, uh, hey, it's all good. How's it going? Rec Room is a totally free game that has a few games in it uh, that I would recommend completely. It's also got a uh, Battle Royale mode for all you Fortnite fans out there. It's pretty fun. So I would, I would definitely check that one out. All right, it doesn't look like I'm supposed to be at this place right now because I can't get out of my car. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to the main road. Probably have a weird loading screen here again. Now, is this where I came from? I guess we'll find out. It's very snowy. There's all these cool side roads I want to take, but it's like... The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Is it really? I don't know where the general store is. Did I make it? I want to go back and explore all those other places I passed. I guess I should gas up first. Wow, it's weird when you come out of a loading screen and you're going full screen. Full, full steam ahead. Uh, okay. Is this it? Is this the general store? Oh, he's driving on autopilot now. Alright, we've made it. Trophy time. So graphics-wise, uh, my first impressions on this are that everything is obviously really foggy, so, you know, the draw distance isn't great, and uh, the textures are, are kind of blurry, everything's a little blurry, but I will say that I like a lot of the effects of the weather, like, blowing against stuff, and uh, the snow falling, and sometimes the way the trees fly around, like this foliage over here, that looks pretty good to me in VR, so I like the atmosphere of it, they do a good job at that, but it's kind of blurry and there's no pro patch, so it is what it is. Let's see what's in here. Why not let it go in? Oh. Oh, Carl shit. had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. Oh, I gotta get my camera. But only a detective okay. could have noticed that the killer hey, had Ashby. to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Okay. Uh, so I actually was just talking about the graphics <laughs> right before you asked. Um, they're blurry overall, but I like the way that they do a lot of the stuff with the environment, like the, the wind and the snow and trees blowing around and everything. Um, that's done pretty well. And overall, like the art design and atmosphere is cool. So it's not... It's not the crispest thing in the world, and there's no pro patch, like I said. But... Oh, fuck. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Okay. I'm trying to turn on that pump. Okay. That's a little spooky. I guess I should do what it said about taking a picture of this guy. Son of a bitch. I should have taken the picture before they turned the lights out. Uh, do I have a lantern? I need one. What is this? Cash register instructions. <laughs> Punch the machine if it doesn't work. Okay. Two numbers minimum hit sale. Turn the crank two times. That'll come in handy, I suppose. Oh, what is this stuff? Oh, that's just the instructions. All right. this document here. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Hmm. All right. What is in, what is in the envelope? Anything in there? Uh, okay. I'm not sure. Excuse me, sir. I need to get around you. Get back outside. I don't want this thing anymore. Alright, where was the explosion? I guess I should gas my car up. Typically one turns off the car first, but this guy's... Got no shits. He didn't park it on the side with the gas tank, did he? Or is that it? Milkman had spot. to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. 
All right, well, at least we the know milk the milk man has been drive by every week to fill the bottle. Mm -hmm. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Yeah, so what I was saying, like, about the uh, the graphics, you know, they're not really high res or anything. Um, but when you see stuff like this and it's blowing with the wind and everything, that's kind of a cool effect. And I like how they did that stuff. So that's what I'm talking about. What's in the outhouse? Nothing. Back here? What is that shit? What is that? Okay, well, we got animal tracks running away from uh, some strange. Mi oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. Was this what blew up? Are you the exploding thing around here? You look fine to me, I don't know. Everything still running. Is it you? What the hell exploded? Well, could probably use some fire. Uh, this game is 20 bucks in the US. If you've already got the uh, the 2D version, the upgrade to VR is $5.99, I believe. But the whole package is uh, is $19.99. All right, I'm warming up by the fire. You can see here, I've got a little heat meter there, and now I'm all warmed up, so I should be good to go. Um, so there's some survival elements. You have to keep an eye on you know, how your dude's doing. Locked. Yeah, all right. Maybe it's in the trash can. I usually keep the keys in the trash can. I really feel like I should start by getting some gas here. That sounds familiar. I guess we're going back in here. No key. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Nope. Well, I gotta find all kinds of keys. Telling me to turn it on, but I'm just not getting how to do that. Don't really know how to do that. Oh, maybe it'll tell me. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Um, I'm still you know, kind of figuring it out here, but it seems pretty good so far. Um, for what it costs and the length, I think it's pretty solid. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. It's mysterious. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Okay, so I just learned how to... I keep taking my camera out by accident. The controls are a little funky once you get... or until you get used to them. Okay, so I have to hit two numbers. And then... Oh god. Okay, this is really blurry. Oh wow, that text is like unreadable. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh Oh hey. And there's the key. I can't take the money. Fine. Alright, well, got myself a key. Nah, it's not working. I wonder if it'll tell me what key it is. Post key, alright, what's this one right here? The murder Ooh. weapon. Murder weapon. What was that doing there, Carl Wonder? And Hamilton another must key. Have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame, he got unlucky. 
everything yeah, makes hopefully sense. they'll do a pro update, although I'm not sure. The denunciation we'll was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Okay, so what it appears has happened so far is that I was coming to meet this guy, and he, uh... He's all murdered, and apparently whoever murdered him thought it would be a good idea to put the murder weapon in the post office box directly next to the murder site, which in my mind, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a murderer, but it seems like a bad idea. I wouldn't do that. Okay, where's that other key we just got? Oh, I have a flashlight? Son of a gun. Alright, I didn't know that. I swear they just gave me another key there. Alright, let's put a flashlight on this dead man. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without log. Fair enough. Oh, can I do both at the same time? I want to have my camera in this hand. Is this possible? Okay, wait. I have two hands here. I can't take a picture with the camera because the lights are out. And did I fuck up by not taking a picture before the lights went out? Is this just screwed now? Can I not do anything? Start that. Aha! Didn't check in there. And there's probably the key I needed. Alright, not too bad. It's pretty dark in here. Let's do anything. Electricity from generator. From power line. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is this working right? I can't even read this shit. Okay, garage. Store. I think that's on and on. And then we want power from the generator, right? The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same hey, time. Hey, Paul. Okay, the garage and the store cannot be supplied with electricity at the same time. That is fine with me. Okay, well, where's the, where's the power, though? What I need is the power. Yeah, the truck has been running the whole time, though. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Okay, should I be able to turn something on this gizmo? Uh, Carl was no electrician. Oh, that is. But he could not identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Yeah, that's not looking good at Carl all. Carl was no electrician, that. but he could identify a wiring problem. Okay, what do I need to fix it? Stuff from the shed. All right, it's all coming together now. It's pretty cool so far. I mean, um, you know. I'm still getting the hang of the controls, to be totally honest, and it's pretty blurry, but beyond that, um, I'm liking it. I will say I don't care as much about the story as I did in Dead Secret, as far as, like, point-and-click adventures go, but this game is obviously a little more ambitious. You can walk around, there's trees blowing in the wind, uh, so, you know, it's a give and take. I've heard that the game is at least five hours, although I hear all kinds of stuff, but that was in 2D, and it's got the full game. Uh, so I would I would say probably it's going to be a good five or six hours for you. Now let me get there's my flashlight. Six to seven, Paul says. Hmm.
Let's go. There's one of my tools. Ooh, I swear that lit up for a sec. Can I get that crowbar? I really want that crowbar. Ooh, it's do anything? Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. All right, the all right. The poor thing was out of power. I get it. Everything's out of power. Well, and I need to do some repairs, it sounds like. Can I really not get that crowbar? Oh, I have to lift the thing up. Of course. Of course. Now, did I get everything I need to do this? Or is there something still missing here? I don't see anything else selectable, so I'm going to assume I got the parts that I needed. But I only noticed one thing, really. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the narrator, to be totally honest. He's uh, my least favorite part of the game so far. Mmm, that sweet, sweet fire. Never goes out. I'm gonna need to know what is this business about, because that's really interesting to me. Ooh. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. I'm keeping that picture. Uh, yes. Prince? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? What are you talking about? I already saw dogs running around. I know it's a possible lead. Oh, I guess I could follow them. Oh. Mmm, hey, hey, hey. Okay, well, I still have unfinished business in this place. Hold on, hold on. Why, thank you, Paul. I'm gonna have to get this generator going. I keep forgetting there's a dead body in the way. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Oh, okay, I need electrical tape. Shit, where do they keep the electrical tape? Did I miss it in there? Do I have to follow those wolves to get the electrical tape? Yeah, I know. It's got to be in here somewhere. Where's that shit? Need that electrical tape. I said I need that electrical tape. Is this it? That looks kind of like it. Okay, that's what I was just thinking. That would make sense. Because it sure as hell's not in here. I wish I had decided to turn the car off, because, I mean, he's said m many times that he's running out of gas. Alright, I'm about to find myself some tape. Lots of cigarettes. Uh -huh. Ooh, is that another first aid kit I can get? Can I move this thing? I don't want to move this thing. It looks like it should move. 
but it won't let me. Okay. Is that it? No. Click on what? I already clicked on it. Do you have any electrical tape on you, bud? No? You didn't die with any. Yeah, I tried clicking on the ladder. Nothing happened. I mean, I'll go try it again. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, fire starters. Nice. I'll take that. Yeah, I know the ladder moves across. I That's what I assumed what the deal was, but it wasn't working when I tried it. No, I think the thing you saw next to the till was uh, ashtray. But I'll double check. Yeah, that's an ashtray. Or no, that's a little change thing. Little change thing. And bum, bum, bum. Don't see any more things here. Now, so I'm trying to, there's like no arrow to click on. I'm trying to click on this thing. Yeah, I already opened the drawers. I mean, unless I missed something in one of the drawers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Obviously. Okay. My bad. Just sitting in a drawer. Guess I missed that one. Alright, generator. I'm gonna fix you right up. Lights back on in this place? Oh. Uh, Note, explain that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. Just one is fine. The note, explain that the garage and that. the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Alright, well I got the breaker where I want it, because this says store, and it's on? Did I miss something? Oh, I probably got to turn the key on the generator. There we go. Working like a charm. Alright, time to take a picture of my dead friend. There's a way to look through my pictures that I've taken. Hmm. Oh, there's my picture right there. Nice. All right. So this is very hard to read. That's my biggest complaint with the uh, story stuff, because it's just like, it's all from these little, you know, documents, and I cannot read this shit unle unless I post my put my face right in front of it. Um, secret service, yada, yada, yada. See, that's what I said, is getting rid of the murder weapon by putting it in a mailbox really the best way. That seems like a terrible idea. Investigate hypothesis. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Alrighty. Well, I've taken my pictures. Um, what's next? Yes. Uh, this is kind of like a an adventure kind of mystery game. Oh, I already got the key uh, for the mailbox. Thanks. 
Yeah, pretty much murder mystery point and click. Um, obviously, it's got full locomotion though, so it's not exactly a point and click. But there's the whole inventory management stuff and all that. All right, so we got this all fired up. I don't actually get to pump the gas, unfortunately. It took my hands away from me. I'm liking it so far. Secured. The killer had to be found, and fast. What if Gilles Lachance had turned words into deeds? I don't know, I guess I should hop in my Chev Lore and find out. Although I'm curious about where those dogs went. I'm gonna go investigate the dog thing. That was interesting to me. The wolves. They ran off in the direction of these uh, crystals. I don't know shit about these crystals yet. Wait. Here we are. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. All right, such a great picture. These are coming out pretty well. Holy shit, what is up with this guy? Is that frozen Bigfoot? What is this? A broken gun? Carl wondered what, what the, the hell fuck? could that thing be? What it the looked hell is like that a man thing? fossilized in ice. I gotta take a picture of this. That's some weird shit. All right, well, can I take his gun? No wolf could have done that, he says. Yeah, that's fair, that's true. Are we taking pictures of every single one of these things? All right, where do the tracks go from here? Yeah, I mean, if I could get to piece it all together by just wandering around and being like, oh, what's up with that frozen ice man? I'm cool with that. I wonder what's at the top of these steps. Another frozen ice person. This looks like it happened to everybody. I love the way the trees just kind of sway a little bit. It really adds a lot to the immersion. Grab some wood. Anything cool in your trash can? The air was freezing. Holy right shit, down this is really bone. cool. Ooh, this is my favorite part of the game so far. This is really the otherworldly ice awesome had struck looking. again. The woman's hopes and dreams were frozen in eternity. Oh shit! What is this? What is happening? Okay, at least I got a fire. This is not what I expected. Something was hidden under the stairs. I wouldn't. No, I never. I definitely would not. I can't use my flashlight. Get out of here. This is really cool. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. Who was that other person watching? Anything over here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, he went back downstairs. I guess I'll follow him. 
No, I didn't expect this at all. This part is awesome. Puzzle relationship had been cooling down lately. It gets even better. I mean, I assumed this game was going to end up being my game of the week. I haven't tried Exorcist yet. Um, I only spent like a little bit of time with Sculptor. Commonplace in I'll be streaming house. all that stuff later on. slowly dissipate and was brought back to reality. Giselle was now only ice and all that was left of her voice was a diary. She confided in this diary, amongst other things, the tragic story of a young woman, a victim. Was this what she was hiding? Sometimes I feel like this guy tells me everything I need to know and I don't need to read anything. Um, it's like just flavor text. He's like, oh, this is, oh, it looks like this is probably what happened while I'm trying to read it. And I can't focus on reading it because he's talking. Oh, he's blackmailing. How come in these uh, murder mysteries there's always somebody blackmailing? That was going on in uh, Dead Secret, too. So I was talking about the text being hard to read, and it's really only in these like uh, cursive -y parts when it's when it's uh, laid out like that. It's not too bad, actually. What? Oh, okay. What? What is happening? Oh, the door opens inward. Got it. All right, that was strange. <laughs> Anything else cool in here? Soap? Do I need soap for anything? I guess not. That's pretty wild. Is there any reason to revisit this house? What uh, a mess. In the regular Clearly, world? Clearly, there was a major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. The chains of conventional love. Really? Did you just play it all the way through? Okay, I found a pack of smokes in there. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Okay, they just moved in. What else do I need to know here? Oh, more boxes. A box full of Harlequin novels. Okay. This lady was uh, too into romance novels. Her husband got upset and uh, pulled out his gun. And then he got turned into an ice man. That's uh, about all I can tell so far. <laughs> I have yet to find a clock that works. Okay, well, it's an interesting piece of information to have. Is that all there is to see here? Kind of looks like it. Ooh, can I start a fire in this place? Nope.
I feel like I'm not going to get back to my car if I keep going this way. So it seems kind of open. Like, I don't know that there's any specific order I have to be doing this in. The crossbow bolt stuck into the wooden stairs reminded Carl of the arrow that was said to have hit Achilles' heel. But who was the intended Achilles this time? All right, we got a new journal entry. I haven't really been keeping up with the journal too much because it's hard to read. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be in order. Okay, that's interesting. You just kind of wander around and see what's going on. I like it. I'm into it. I don't know the chemical process. Okay. A man turned into ice. <laughs> Is this what happens around here if you're not dressed for the weather? I don't think exactly. Uh, it's Carl supposed to be uh, how long over you six to hours. This skin stinging cold. The woman's diary speaks volumes. She even reveals the secrets within her husband's safe. Many screams and secrets between them. There were, wait, there's a, a safe? This guy's got a safe? I didn't see that. Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. I'm going to go back to my car for now, I think. Do some more driving around. Look at that tree wiggle. Pretty clear uh, a signpost here. Carl's spine as he glanced over another body trapped in ice. It's not another body. Indeed, it's the this scene was quite chilly. Oh God! I think you're so clever, Mr. Narrator. Hey, Anthony. Uh, not too bad. Just checking out Kona, and uh, a little bit later, I'm going to try The Exorcist and uh, Sculptor VR. So it's a good day, good release day this week. Hey, Vladdy B. All right, so it seems like the world is my oyster here. I can go wherever you want. Um, it's it's not the clearest thing in the world, I gotta say. There are some uh, things that I really like. The weather effects, the, the wind, um, just the general atmosphere of it all. But it does not all work by any means. It's pretty, uh, pretty blurry. And there's no pro patch or anything Carl like that. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. I'm sure they've got didn't plenty of himself. secrets. Okay, I so I am sort of controlling the vehicle. Yeah, I have uh, not with my hands directly, but the uh, the buttons on the move controller are what control the left and right here. Now I gotta make a U-turn because this guy is really insistent that I've missed something, and I gotta go back. Girls take a little getting used to. Oh yeah, I was wondering what would happen there. That was kind of fun. The movement scheme is awkward, but you do figure it out eventually. Now, one thing I'm curious about is if I can only get out of the car at certain spots, or if I can just get out whenever I want. I guess I can just get out whenever I want. All right, so there's still more secrets to be found. I think what they're looking for is for me to go fool around in the garage. And 
that should do it, right? All right, garage is turned on. Generator power. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, we got click turning, but it, it does let you free loco, so I'm fine with that. I can handle it. It's warming up by the fire here for a sec. Mm, my hands feel really big, actually. All right, let's see what I can get done in this here garage. There's a crowbar for me in here somewhere. Yes, indeed. Look at that. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Man, what am I going to do with it? it? would come in handy at some point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that all there was? Is that really the undiscovered secret? I guess I'll need the crowbar for sure, but... All right. Hope I'm not missing anything else. Hey, Roy. It is kind of cool to know that um, there isn't, like, one linear path through the story. Like, the beginning of the game kind of sets you up to think that there's only one way through, because it kind of blocks you from doing certain things until you accomplish what it wants. But I think it's pretty much open at this point, and I can go around and just figure out uh, the whole thing, however I feel like. So where am I on this? Am I... Am I marked here? Is that my car? This shit is really hard to see. And is there a legend? Sort of. I cannot read any of that. Well, I think it might be uh, might be better than abduction. It is it is fairly blurry, I gotta say, but it it still manages to look decent if that makes sense. Um, the atmosphere, the art design, the weather, all that stuff adds up pretty well. And it runs very smoothly, I'll say that too. Um, it's, you know, uh, there's no judder. I haven't noticed any big graphical issues uh, with performance or anything, so that's good. Now, can I look at my map when I'm driving around? Good call. Oh, wow, that really obscures my view of the road, but let's try it. Now this, maybe this will help me tell. Oh, better than Art Park. Oh, God, where am I on this little map? Okay, I'm moving around. That's me moving around. Alright, that's enough of the map. It's dangerous. Alright, I guess we'll just wander around for a minute. And see what see what there is to see. Oh, is that another car? Hmm. Some supplies in here maybe. That had to be the worst parking job ever. Who was Carl to judge though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts, or not. Can we can we get rid of the uh, the narrator? I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's cancel this narrator. I at least want to turn his audio off because I'm I'm tired of hearing from this dude already. Anything interesting here? This uh, the upgrade is five ninety nine. cold rendered if you've the already door frozen got... tight. Carl saw no way to open it. <laughs> That would be a problem if I didn't have a crowbar. That's right, baby. Let's do this the thing. Punishing cold rendered the door what? frozen tight. What do I Carl even need a crowbar no for? Open it. Like the punishing cold rendered the door this is frozen what I'm, tight. This is what Carl I'm trying saw to do. No way to open it. I could smash the window. I could, you know, crow, crowbar it. The punishing cold rendered the door frozen tight. Carl saw no way to open it. All right, well, I don't know what that crowbar is for, but apparently not for opening car doors. All right, let's take a drive and see what we can see.
Yeah, so it's a VR patch to an existing game that's been out for, uh, I think, over a year. And they had mentioned adding VR support at one point in the past, but nobody had really heard much about it. Um, so it didn't really seem like on anybody's radar. And then all of a sudden, pops right up, and it's got a, a VR patch. All right, I cannot, it, they really need to add something to fix this blurriness though, because I really, this map is like useless to me, other than just sort of guessing at stuff. Like, I guess that's bedding. Uh, it looks like there's a house over here. Have I already been there? Is that what these things mean? Maybe that does mean I've already been there. If there's a little home icon, like I made a fire here or something. In which case, I suppose I'll just keep going the opposite way. This looks like there's a lot of shit over there that I haven't seen yet. Y yeah, so it's it's not a patch exactly. It's like an upgrade. Um, picture like Dirt Rally, if you if you know how that one worked. So. Um, you, if you have the game already, you can pay six bucks and then it becomes VR. You can play the whole thing in VR. If you don't have it yet, there's a bundle that's the game and the uh, the VR update for $19.99. So it all works out to be the same price regardless of if you bought it already or not. But I wish there was an easier way to do the map though while I was driving. But I guess this is fine. been here. Oh, 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 oh. That's not at all what I was trying to do. Son of a gun. I, I didn't... Ugh, keep pressing the wrong stuff, guys. I'm sorry. I want to look at my map. Is what I want to do. Where is this? This might actually be easier to play with a DualShock 4. Because um, that is an option. You can definitely play with a DualShock 4. And uh, actually, let me try that out now. I'll, uh, I'll switch over and you guys can see what that looks like. I would suggest this one if you're into, like, um, mystery, like, whodunit, kind of uh, spooky. This got kind of a Silent Hill vibe, and uh, I'm liking it so far. Um, some suitably creepy stuff going on in this place. And uh, it sounds like I've only scratched the surface, because there's a lot of game here. It's like six to seven hours is what I keep hearing. And uh, really can kind of go at your own pace. I'm just sort of wandering around looking at stuff. Uh, okay, what was I going to do here? Oh, I was going to switch to the uh, dual shock. Hold on one sec, guys. I think all I have to do is just turn off the move controllers and the dual shock will start working. Give me one sec. All right, now we're playing Carl with the dual shock. how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Pretty easy to swap over there. All right, I already looked at this car. Oh, come on. All right, I suppose I'll just mosey on down the road. Can't drive over those little bushes, that's fine. Oh, come on. This is really hard to get out of this place. I don't see anything that's blocking me, technically. All right, all right. Let's try this. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. Oh, what's over there? Looks kind of interesting. I like being able to just hop out and investigate, get back in the car. It's a bad idea for him to always leave it running like that, but... Ooh, private. I'm a fan of that. Uh, should I be driving or walking, I wonder? I could probably walk. Oh yeah. 
Let's get a fire going over here. There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we get some chests going over here. It is definitely easier to select stuff when you're playing with the moves, because obviously the head is your pointer. So you're just kind of pointing around with your head to select stuff this way. All right, besides the fire, is there anything of value in this place, I wonder? Who quits a game one step away from victory? Oh, I don't know. Mysterious! Probably because all their friends were turning into ice. Ooh, can I get this? Yup. Not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Oh, nice. Ooh, alright. Next time I see one of those ice men, or a wolf or anything, I'm good to go. Ooh, ooh! Yep. Ooh, ooh, there's, uh, there's footprints of these wolves again. What are they up to? One thing is you can jump when you're using the DualShock, and I could never figure out a way to jump with the move controllers. There probably is one, but I could not find it. It's going pretty good. Found another little place after wandering around for a while. Following some dog tracks again. Hopefully I'll find something spooky. Seems like they always know where the spooky stuff is. Ah, another one of these guys. The crossbow bolts had the same origin. Carl was sure of it. Who was it? And more importantly, what was being hunted like this? I also wonder why they seem like they're like smoking. It's like fire arrows or something. that thing. Fire starter. Huh. Not a whole lot going on in here. Kind of interesting at least. And when I'm playing with the dual shock, the click turning bothers me a little more, but still not the end of the world. Um, don't know why it needs to be this way on DualShock, though. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Let's make us a fire. Mm. More of this stuff. Something's going on. Uh, but where do the dog tracks go? Bum, 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 bum. That's not where I came from, is it? like how exploratory this is and like, I don't know, it feels kind of close to the, an open world sort of thing just because you, you can do it all at your own pace and wander around and there's like survival and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I don't think it would be. No, shouldn't be. I mean, maybe there is an option when you're on DualShock. Let me see. 
see it. Hey Will, how's it going? Oh shit. Well this led me back to the road, but I don't have my car with me. Well, I guess I'll just follow the dog tracks a little more. Seems like they go from camp to camp, stealing people's stuff, maybe. <laughs> Magnets and raw meat. That's gonna come in handy. I like how frequently you can start a fire and get a save point, too. Um, I mean, there's the survival aspect, but I never feel like I'm stranded anywhere. Like, even though my car is way back somewhere that I'll have to go find later. Um, I'm liking it, Will. I'm really enjoying it. Especially now that it's starting to, to click for me, where I understand, like, what the game is overall. Um, I thought it was a lot more linear and story-driven at first. But it, it it's certainly story-driven, but it's not linear at all. You can... After the beginning, you just kind of wander around and piece it together yourself. Um, so that is pretty, pretty cool. And keep the, the sense of mystery going. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Carl was becoming increasingly convinced that this was not normal hunting. The game that was being tracked was fearsome. So much so that the hunter didn't dare approach it. What could it be? Oh wow, I got really tall there. Anything cool in there? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, a boot. Give me that boot. I didn't even see that as an option before. What is up with this alone boot? Okay. Going in the journal. I could follow these dog tracks all day. I like it. A wall of ice? Uh-oh. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of visions. Oh shit! We're back Carl in the realm of visions! No issue, recognizing the spirit-like figures. But he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. The Phantom. Freed of reality's shackles, vanished in the forest. Oh, I don't think I was Earlier, supposed to stand there. Carl had witnessed a tragedy that befell it. Do I walk through too? What do you want? What do these guys want? Wait, what am I supposed to do? doesn't seem right. The further Carl moved away from the ice block, the more his senses came back to him. Huh. Well, I guess, uh... Maybe I can't progress through there yet? Oh, I've only found one of the four ghosts. I get it. I found that lady, I figured out her story, and now she's gone through. And if all four go then I can pass through. That's what I think. Okay, so I gotta figure out what happened to all these people. Got four ghostly beings. And that's my new mission, I suppose. Numbness was giving way to awareness. The vision was Oh, wavering. Wolfenstein, fun. Alright, catch you later, Paul. Alright guys, so my first impressions on this, uh, yeah, it is like a supernatural Fargo. I'm really into it. Um, there's obviously a couple shortcomings. Um, controls are a little wonky. Sometimes. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry. But whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Uh, 
like right now I'm having a lot of trouble selecting that icon that should be fairly easy to select. Anyways, um, yeah, and it's kind of blurry, but it's got a lot of content for the price, and I really like the way they did a lot of stuff here. Um, there was it's very spooky, void where the very mysterious, Carl and very it. open, open he world kind of back. thing. And you can jump it on cars. It was as if the road had drowned in the lake. He would have to find help by another road. Yeah, the snow and the wind and everything. The weather, I've said this a million times, but all that stuff is, is great, and I really like it. And, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. If you've already got the base game, certainly worth checking it out again in, uh, in VR. When the 2D version came out, it got pretty decent reviews, like in the 7 to 8 range, I think. And um, it's a full-on, you know, 6-7 hour game um, for a pretty decent price point. So I would recommend this one, guys. Um, I'm going to check out some Exorcist, maybe some Sculptor VR. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Thanks for watching, by the way. And uh, have a good rest of your day if I don't see you again.